हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अल्बर्टा अल्बर्टा इज ऑलवेज बीइंग वेरी प्रॉमिसिंग प्रोविंस फॉर पोटेंशियल इमिग्रेंट बट लॉट्स ऑफ इमिग्रेंट लॉट्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल पीपल लॉट्स ऑफ कैंडिडेट दे डोंट रियली नो अबाउट अल्बर्टा अलॉट एंड टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस लिटिल बिट इन डीप वॉट अल्बर्टा इज एंड हाउ इट मे हेल्प यू टू कम टू कैनडा when it's come to canada immigration i always think that alberta has been always underrated alberta province it's always been underrated why i'm thinking that there is a story behind it when i myself when i came to canada i came in 2008 i got a job with fairmont hotels in lake louise it's it's a town in alberta i got a flight ticket from company when i see that flight ticket the my destination was calgary and that time the first time i came to know about calgary the currently i am living in calgary but i never heard of calgary before i come to canada since childhood since like i was in school we, when we learn in geography about different different countries when we learn about canada we learn about only toronto we learn about only one city and we never heard about any other city now those time was olden days definitely there were no google no youtube you know there were really limited limited information were there but whatever we learn we learn only about toronto and we never heard about any of the cities or provinces in canada when we were doing our schooling and that trend is still continuing now when i see uh, when i interact with lots of immigrants potential immigrants and when i ask them where you want to settle in canada they have only they they have limited options they only say that i wanted to settle in toronto or vancouver you know they never think about other provinces they never think about other cities and when i actually came to canada when i in 2008 when i arrived in calgary when i saw this city it was it, it is so beautiful city it has everything that alberta and calgary edmonton those cities those this province has everything right it's major hub for oil and gas industry and because of that oil oil and gas other sectors also get developed now what those other sectors are transportation aviation agriculture retail industry hospitality industry biotechnology then it industry technical field right finances so there are lots of other sectors they are growing a lot in alberta and overall alberta's economy is definitely contributing to canada's economy and one more thing i wanted to tell you about alberta compared to toronto and compared to vancouver the housing prices are very much affordable if you if you think about buying a house or the small house in toronto it goes the cost of the house very small you know very you know not very big house very small house the cost will go in millions where in calgary if you wanted to have a house almost 3500 square feet house you can get it around you know half a million dollar so that's still big amount of money but you can afford this cost okay cost of like cost of living when you consider other provinces like other big cities and the calgary the cost of living is also very reasonable compared to other other cities compared to toronto or montreal or you know so this is this is the factor immigrants looking for when they wanted to move to, move to any other country so cost of living affordability of house and then opportunities in, opportunities for the job it's definitely those are the factor for potential immigrants to consider so when i think that alberta has been underrated i wanted to just show you it's a, just a showcase of alberta province which is really promising and when you are potential immigrant when you are thinking to come to canada think about alberta and today's session we were we are talking about alberta and its uh, immigration programs so my name is santosh i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant my office here in calgary if you have any question or you are aspiring to come to canada then this is the right channel for you now as i told you my office here in calgary alberta and i do a lots of anp programs i help a lots of people to come to canada through alberta immigration nominee program i help them to get a job offer also because we have a recruitment agency too mostly my expertise in retail and hospitality sectors 
but we also help uh, IT field people. We also help you know other industries too. Um, but my main expertise are basically hospitality and uh, retail sector. Today we are also talking about Alberta Express Entry without a job offer. So people who are outside of Canada, they are, if they are looking to come to Canada through PNP program without a job offer, this is a very useful session for them. But besides that, I will discuss about AOS program, which is for people who's already in Canada. And we will discuss about Alberta Express Entry later on. When it's come to Alberta Immigration Nominee Program, there are two streams. One is for the worker and one is another is for the entrepreneur. We are not going to talk about entrepreneur today. We will discuss mostly about workers. Now in worker stream, there are again sub stream. AOS category, it's for people who is already in Canada and Alberta Express Entry is for a people who is outside of Canada. ANP AOS for you know it's also divided into two subcategories one is for international students who completed their education from Alberta institutions and they get postgraduate work permit and they're currently working in Canada working in Alberta that's the first AOS and uh, second AOS category is for people who come to Canada on work permit on LMIA based or LMIA exempt so we will talk about AMP AOS program for post-grad work permit holder. You have to complete your education from Alberta Institute. Once you get your open work permit, you have to work with employer in Alberta in your same related field for six months. And if you have a five band score ILTS, then you can apply for Alberta AOS and you get a nomination within two months, two to three months. This is approximately processing time. So this is a really easy program. In other category, uh, Alberta AOS for workers, worker who are working on LMI exempt work permit or LMI based work permit, they have to complete their one year experience with Alberta employer. And once they complete their one year experience with Alberta employer, they can submit their application to ANP uh, along with their eligible, you know, WS assessment and eligible uh, qualifying CELPIP or ILTS result. So AOS program is really easy. Once you meet that criteria, you immediately apply for AINP. There is no point, there is no CRS cutoff, there is no, you know, diffi difficult uh, procedure. It's a really easy procedure. So once you come to Canada, that's going to get you ANP very easily. So if you are not getting CRS for express entry, try coming to Canada either for work or for study and that will really definitely help you to achieve your goal to migrate to Canada. Now we will talk about in detail uh, regarding Alberta Express Entry. Uh, that's really helpful for people who's looking to immigrate to Canada without job offer. Now before we go ahead, I just want you to understand that there are lots of people who have intention to move to Alberta with CRS score more than 300 okay but not everybody able to come to Canada through INP when you consider there are 135,000 candidate in express entry pool in the CRS score range between 300 to 450 those are candidates are definitely looking to immigrate to Canada with any provinces and AINP only issuing around two to three hundred invitations bi-weekly. So there is huge competition. Now when it comes to Alberta Express Entry, Alberta have their own strategy, their own planning to whom they are giving, you know, invitations. But again, the criteria is not certain. So you have to submit your application for Alberta, like Express Entry with intention to migrate to Alberta and you might get invitation. So there is no set criteria. So there is no, you know, no prediction that you will get invitation to apply or not. I have, I have told you that there are 135,000 candidates in the pool and out of that they are sending just 100, 200 invitations bi-weekly. So it's going to be tough. But there is, if you have a profile and if you show interest to Alberta, you might eligible to get invitation from province that's really possible but there is no certain set standard for that if you have a certain additional factors that might help you to you know that, that will increase your chances to get 
Alberta invitation. Now those factors are so if you get Alberta employer offer, then there is a chances for you to get you know invitation to apply. Besides that, you also if you have completed your studies from Alberta, that also improve your chances. So that's the two factors that shows your ties to Alberta, right? Job offer in Alberta and education in Alberta that shows your ties to Alberta, and that will really help to get you know nomination or invitation under express entry besides that if you have your brother sister or any you know parents or close relative in alberta that will help you increase your chances for alberta invitation so those three factors are additional for you if you have those factors to you know support you for your alberta express entry 300 is a base point for alberta eligibility Alberta Express Entry eligibility. If you have a more score, if you have more than 400 score, then the chances to get your invitation under Alberta Express Entry are higher. We will discuss a lot more about Alberta in future. We will have, this is the overall uh, conversation today. We discuss how things work, how, how promising Alberta economy, how promising this province is. I just wanted to have a general awareness about this province let me know if you have any question in comment box below and then we will discuss about it i hope you like this session have a nice day